Good morning. Please join together in our gathering song, Go Up to the Altar of God.
Cathedral as we share this day of joy and grace, a day of blessing for the entire Diocese of Evansville, as Deacon Garrett is ordained to the Holy Priesthood. We give thanks we are able to gather a large number once again to celebrate this liturgy. It's a significant increase from his diaconate ordination a year ago when his parents were the only ones able to be present. We are honored by the presence of Bishop Richard Spencer, an auxiliary bishop of the Archdiocese for the Military Services. As you may know, the Archdiocese co-sponsored Deacon Garrett and his seminary formation. After three years of parish ministry here in the diocese, he will serve as a military chaplain, ministering to our men and women in the armed spirit services. And now, brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the lowly, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from our Lord and a day of vindication by our God, to comfort all who mourn, to place on those who mourn in Zion a diadem instead of ashes, to give them oil of gladness in place of mourning, a glorious mantle instead of a listless spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
But we hold these, this treasure in earthen vessels, that the surpassing power may be of God, not from us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Let Garrett Daniel Brown, who is to be ordained a priest, come forward. Present. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain Garrett, our brother, to the responsibility of the priesthood. Do you know him to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people, and upon the recommendation of those responsible, I testify that he has been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose Garrett, our brother, for the order of the priesthood.
Relying then on the Lord as your strength, you must be a bold and courageous leader who is unafraid to advance the church's mission of evangelization, even in the face of obstacles, headwinds, and temptations, as there always will be. In a special way, look to the example and intercession of St. Joseph, in whose year you are ordained. St. Joseph was a strong, courageous, and hardworking spouse and foster father. Chosen by God to be the protector of the Holy Family of Nazareth and the family of the church. You too are called to take the church as your spouse, to be a spiritual father to your people, and to protect those entrusted to the care, especially the most vulnerable. Find your joy, your strength, and your security in the Lord's merciful love, the mercy you will both receive and dispense in the sacrament of reconciliation. Sensing daily your own need for forgiveness and mercy as an earthen vessel of the Lord's grace. You, as a priest, will rejoice to be an ambassador, an agent, a minister of the Lord's merciful and reconciling love. A spirit of forgiveness so utterly needed in a world torn by strife, conflict, and divisions. And in a church needing healing and unity. Much has been written and said about leaders who inspire confidence. And Garrett, that is precisely the kind of leader you are called to be. The confidence that you are to inspire, however, does not revolve around you. It has nothing to do with showy performances or personality cults. It has everything to do with being the kind of priest who inspires others to put their trust in the Lord and to do so by leading them into the heart of the Paschal mystery of the saving death and resurrection of Christ. And the way we lead others into the heart of this mystery is by dying to ourselves, to our interests, ambitions, and desires. As St. Paul reminded us, we do not preach ourselves but the Lord Jesus Christ, that the surpassing power of God may be from God and not from us. For it is by giving your life for others that you inspire them to stay close to the Eucharistic Lord, to grow in intimacy with Jesus and the Church, perhaps to return to the Lord and His Church after an absence, perhaps lead others to encounter the Lord for the first time. As a priest after the heart of the Good Shepherd, you must be willing to lay down your life for the flock entrusted to you, even those outside the fold of the church. It is of offering yourself generously and without counting the cost that your preaching of the word and your celebration of the Eucharist and the other sacraments will bear fruit in the lives of the people to whom you are being sent. You must therefore have in your heart that faith which moves mountains and the love which transforms hearts. Courageous, humble, inspiring leadership. In a word, you are called to be a priest after the mind and heart of Jesus Christ. We pray that Mary, the mother of God and the mother of priests, intercede for you, so that day by day you may grow in likeness to her son and one day merit the reward of a faithful servant. Herod, may the Lord bless you and your ministry. May he keep you always in his love. Dear son, before you enter the order of the priesthood, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Do you resolve, with the help of the Holy Spirit, to discharge without fail the office of priesthood in the presbyteral rank as a worthy fellow worker with the order of bishops in caring for the Lord's flock? I do. Do you resolve to exercise the ministry of the word worthily and wisely? preaching the gospel and teaching the Catholic faith? I do. Do you resolve to celebrate faithfully and reverently in accord with the Church's tradition, the mysteries of Christ, especially the sacrifice of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation for the glory of God and the sanctification of the Christian people? I do. Do you resolve to implore with us God's mercy upon the people entrusted to you, to your care, by observing the command to pray without ceasing? I do. 
Do you resolve to be united more closely every day to Christ, the High Priest, who offered himself for us to the Father as a pure sacrifice, and with him to consecrate yourself to God for the salvation of all? I do with the help of God. You promise respect and obedience to me and my successors. I do. May the Lord, may the God who's begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. My dear people, let us pray that God the Almighty Father will pour out abundantly the gifts of heaven on this, his servant, whom he has chosen for the office of priest. Hill. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Holy Angels of God, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Andrew, pray for us. Saint John, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Stephen, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Antioch, pray for us. Saint Lawrence, pray for us. Saint Boniface, pray for us. Saint Meinrad, pray for us. Saint Maximilian Kolbe, pray for us. Saint Perpetua and Saint Felicity, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Ambrose, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Athanasius, pray for us. Saint Basil, pray for us. Saint Martin, pray. Saint John Neumann, pray for us. Saint John Paul II, pray for us. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Francis and Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint Francis Xavier, pray for us. Saint Louis de Montfort. Pray for us. Saint John Mary Vianney. Pray for us. Saint John Bosco. Pray for us. Saint Pio of Petrelcina. Pray for us. Saint Catherine of Siena. Pray for us. Saint Joan of Arc. Saint Teresa of Jesus, pray for us. Saint Theodore Guerin, pray for us. Saint Bernadette, pray for us. Saint Maria Faustina, pray for us. Saint Juan Diego, pray for us. Saint Dominic Savio. 
blessed Pier Giorgio Frassati. Pray for us. Saint Monica. Pray for us. Blessed Chiara Badano. Pray for us. All holy men and women, saints of God. Pray for us. Lord, be merciful. you, Lord our God, and pour out on this servant of yours the blessing of the Holy Spirit and the power of priestly grace, that this man whom in the sight of your mercy we offer to be consecrated may be surrounded by your rich and unfailing gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us stand.
near, O Lord our God, almighty and eternal God, author of human dignity. It is you who apportion all graces. Through you everything progresses. Through you all things are made to stand firm, to form a priestly people. You appoint ministers of Christ your Son by the power of the Holy Spirit, arranging them in different orders. Already in the earlier covenant, offices arose, established through mystical rites, when you sent Moses and Aaron over your people to govern and sanctify them. You chose men next in rank and dignity to accompany them and assist them in their task. So too in the desert you implanted in the heart and the spirit of Moses in the hearts of seventy wise men, and with their help he ruled your people with greater ease. So also upon the sons of Aaron you poured an abundant share of their father's plenty, that the number of the priests prescribed by the law might be sufficient for the sacrifices of the tabernacle, which were a shadow of the good things to come. But in these last days, Holy Father, you sent your Son into the world, Jesus, who was apostle and high priest of our confession, through the Holy Spirit, he offered himself to you as a spotless victim, and he made his apostles, consecrated in the truth, sharers in his mission. You provided them also with companions to proclaim and carry out the work of salvation throughout the whole church, throughout the whole world. And now we beseech you, Lord, in our weakness, to grant us this helper that we need, to exercise the priesthood that comes from the apostles. Grant, we pray, Almighty Father, to this your servant the dignity of the priesthood. Renew deep within him the spirit of holiness, that he may henceforth possess this office which comes from you, O God, and is next to the rank of the, in the, to the next in rank to the office of bishop. And by the example of his manner of life, may he instill right conduct. May he be a worthy co-worker with our order, so that by his preaching and through the grace of the Holy Spirit, the words of the gospel may bear fruit in human hearts and reach even to the ends of the earth. Together with us, may he be a faithful steward of your mysteries, so that your people may be renewed in the waters of rebirth and nourished from your altar, so that sinners may be reconciled and the sick raised up. May he be joined with us, Lord, in imploring your mercy for the people entrusted to his care and for all the world. And so may the full number of the nations gathered together in Christ be transformed into your one people and made perfect in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Jesus Christ, 
whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do. Imitate what you celebrate. And conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross.
and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who will that your priests should minister at the holy altar and serve your people, grant by the power of the sacrifice, we pray, that the labors of your servants may constantly please you, and in your church bear that fruit which lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord.
therefore we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you, also for this your servant, whom you've been pleased to raise to the order of priesthood, and in your mercy keep safe your gifts in him, so that what he has received by divine commission he may be fulfilled by divine assistance. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, and bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. Forever and ever. Amen. 
Savior's command, and for my divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in
the divine sacrifice we have offered and received, O Lord. Give new life to your priests and to all your servants, that united to you in unfailing love, they may receive the grace of giving worthy service to your majesty, through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who founded the church and guides her still, protect you constantly with his grace, that you may faithfully discharge the duties of priesthood. May he make you a servant and a witness in the world to divine charity and truth and a faithful minister of reconciliation. Amen. And may he make you a true shepherd to provide the living bread and the word of life to the faithful, that they may continue to grow in the unity of the body of Christ. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen.